I just stick with the basics, really. I don't, I don't follow trends. I don't because I learned something a long time ago from my mentor. He said, well, everybody zigs, you zag. Oh, yeah. So because everybody runs one way, like, oh, this is the new hottest stuff on the planet. We got to run this way. Before you know it, it doesn't work anymore. This right? is so true. You're just wasting your time. You got to yeah. stick with what you're doing and improve on what you're doing to get better at what you're doing to get the results that you want in your business. Right? It's like, what's a good example? So for instance, if you're trying to build a business online, right? And you're trying to learn how to generate some leads to start building your list. Okay, I'm going to use this for an example. If you think just by going somewhere else to do that is going to be better, like you think, you think the, the, gra the grass is greener on the other side, it's not. It's still, it's all trials and tribulations. It's still learning the ropes. It's still learning the skill sets, right? So, and I see this happen with a lot of people. They'll start to learn and they get deviated by shiny object syndrome. And they'll say like, oh, this new stuff came out. Everybody says I should join it. And then they go run with the herd the other way. That's zig, right? And then what I do, I just zag. I stay in my lane. And if I stay in my lane, I just keep building more residual, creating more income, right? And this is what I mean. If you do, if you know how to be a stickler and stay in your lane yes, and just keep growing and learning and producing, that's where the success comes from. It's not being distracted by all the shiny objects out there. Because there are going to be many shiny objects today, many sh shiny objects tomorrow, the following month, next year, and the year after that, and so on and so forth. And you have to learn to be that type of entrepreneur that is a stickler that you cannot get distracted. It's, it looks good. On the surface, you look at it like, oh, maybe that can help me. Oh, maybe that's great. Okay, so you think that what you're doing is not good enough. That means you're pulling away from the pain, thinking you're going to get pleasure when in reality, you're going back to pain, but 10 times harder because you never learned the lesson in the first place where you are right now. You know, my, my mentor said, you know, Rich, before you decide to move to anything else, learn to make six figures with that first program first. Then you can add another one and another one and another one. And, and you know, we took that advice and it was the best advice we've ever gotten. I, I'll just tell you, that, and I, I give that same advice to you. I don't take credit for that advice. It's my coach. I, I, I'm I giving you that advice from my oh, coach. Way you told me, you know? <laughs> so it's important to understand that, you know, you have to really think about yes. being a stickler in this industry. You have to really buckle down and focus on the skill set, not the things that say are going to make you money. Yes. Okay. So Cause everybody out there is going to be like, this will make you money. 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 But all of those things you're going to run to, you'll never make any money because you never buckle down and learn the skill sets, how to make money. Exactly. I can't tell you how, how powerful that is because like, you know, not a day that goes by that some marketer. Okay. From all different niches, you know, network marketing, MLM, affiliate marketing, all the different niches approach ace and rich to want to join their program you know all the time all, all the, time. the time and we're so disciplined we we politely we don't bash you know unless they're rude to us and we'll give them right back what they actually do to us <laughs> we're very respected and we actually say to them you know kindly no thank you you stay in your lane i stay in mine i'm already focused i'm doing a lot right now for the industry the last thing i need to do is add something else to deter my focus so that I could believe that this is going to solve my problem. And it's not. And a lot of people being duped, tricked, manipulated into these programs thinking this is the answer. This is what you've been waiting for, which is bullshit because all businesses is what you've been waiting for. It's all come down to you. I told this guy on our team, I said, listen, you need to stop with that shiny object addiction. And stop thinking the grass is, on, is greener on the other side and learn to water your own damn grass. You know, it's so true. <laughs> and Jim Rohn talks about that. He talks about, you know, nurturing your crops. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's you like, and, and what I mean by that is, as you're building an audience, as you're building a list, right? You go through the nurturing phase, 
you know, everybody wants to make sales, but they don't understand the process of building a business in general when it comes to building relationships. In this business, really building relationships is really the key. You know, we did the fast start training for um, one of the offers that we promote. And the funny thing is, in the slides, number one thing we put up on the top there is, you know, stop trying to make sales and start focusing on building relationships. And it's kind of like a head turner because they go, well, wait a minute. I thought I was supposed to sign up here to make money. Yeah, you were supposed to sign up here to make money. And you're going to make money if you listen to what we're telling you. If you focus on building relationships, you could write a paycheck for life. If you focus on making money, you'll never be successful. Exactly. It, it's the opposite of what you think. But nobody will tell you that. They'll just say, hey, join me over here because mm -hmm. this looks so beautiful and brand new and shiny with a brand new wrapper. That's still the same crap that's been around for years. Okay. It's just a new wrapper. It's just, you got to understand something. It's you that is responsible for your success. Yes. And when you buckle down and focus on the skill sets and improve and get better, yes. that's when you start getting results and you'll wonder where all the money's been hiding all along. Mm 